Hi, I'm Cindy Perlin. I'm the founder and CEO of the Alternative Pain Treatment Directory. It's an online resource for people in pain, and it has information, recommended products, and provider listings. And I'm here today with one of our amazing providers, Laura Brown, who is a licensed physical therapist and massage therapist, and hasn't stopped at that. She's added some really amazing, innovative technologies uh, to a practice that really helps chronic pain patients. So I'm going to be talking her today with her today about what she's doing. So Laura, welcome. Good morning, Cindy. Thank you for having me. So um, can you talk about um, CalMare therapy and laser therapy, which uh, you've added to your practice and why you've done that and, and how that's going, how that's working for pain patients? I'd love to. Uh, there are two arms of my practice that I'm really excited about. I just added the MLS laser therapy, and that's uh, that's quite exciting because it can stand alone or it can assist CalMare. Because CalMare, as you know, is for neuropathic pain, which describes a lot of different diagnoses. Um, neuropathic pain is just an umbrella term that we use. So uh, and it works wonders. And I love CalMare therapy because you don't have to wait to find out. We'll know in the first session if it'll work or not. So there's really no risk with CalMare therapy. First of all, it can do no harm. And if it's not going to work, we'll know right away. So we'll just look for something else if it doesn't work. But it works most of the time if we have um, a really good candidate. So CalMare is very exciting because it's it's the quickest way for someone in pain to get out of pain that I have ever found. So I, I really enjoy working with CalMare patients. So can and, you describe what it does? Sure, uh, CalMare is a unit. It's fairly big. It's, it looks like a big car battery and it's got um, electrodes. Uh, it's not scary at all. So it's just surface electrodes. It's an electric stim unit. We place those on the skin and it just tinkles and hums. And that's all it does. It's not painful. A lot of people, if they get their first experience for, with pain relief in a long time, might fall asleep. That's how gentle it is. It's very gentle. And uh, it sends in an artificial neuron that travels along the C fiber of the nerve. And so what it does is the pain is in an erroneous loop. It keeps getting a pain message when it shouldn't. So this overrides that signal. It scrambles it into a message of no pain. So you'll hear it referred to as scrambler therapy a lot. So it, it starts sending a no pain signal to the brain. And eventually that signal of no pain is the one that registers with the brain. In a nutshell, that's CalMare. And it's amazing. And it's it's such a privilege to work with people and watch that happen mm -hmm. and watch watch their whole affect change. So um, I really get a kick out of using CalMare with people because it's just, it, it changes their life. And that's just something I never dreamed I thought I would have at my fingertips, the ability to change someone's life like that. So I'm I'm over the moon about CalMare. I just think it's I think it's a great machine and I think it's a great technology. And I just wish more people knew about it. So how long does treatment take? Treatment takes about an hour. So mm -hmm. uh, the first session is all about proper placement of the electrodes. So we'll find that and uh, we'll know that it is working because as my great mentor, Brandy Marino told me, it it's tingling, tolerable and effective. So <laughs> we'll know we have everything in the right place as it should be when it's tingling, tolerable and effective. So um, the first session we, we look for that, we know it's correct because their pain goes down right on the spot. Their pain will um, diminish right in front of us. So. That's beneficial. And then what we do uh, with that hour is we'll, we'll start with them in the position of them uh, when they have the most comfort. So for some people, um, they're most comfortable when they're sitting and their pain gets really bad when they're standing. So we'll have them start sitting out. We'll try to zero out the pain in sitting. And then what we can do um, is we start introducing those movement patterns, those positions that provide them the most pain. So if it's standing up or bending over, or maybe it's sitting, then we start to introduce that and get that pain to decrease. And then we're really changing the signal to the brain that says, no matter what I'm doing, I don't have pain, whether it's the most comfortable position or the least comfortable position. So 
that's that's when we really start making changes. So, and how many sessions does it take to get enduring relief? How does that work? That's a hard question to answer because it won't be the same for everyone. Uh, but it's the one thing everybody wants to know. And all I can say is the national average is 10 sessions. So uh, I, I have people expect it to be 10 sessions. Might be a few more, might be a few less. It depends on the diagnoses. It depends on comorbidities. Um, depends on the person and all their different factors coming in. So everyone's going to react a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. I and think those, I, are done, those are done over a two-week period, usually? Some have done over two weeks, yeah, yep. Yeah. I had a lady uh, trying to get off fentanyl, and which is very heavy duty, and uh, she she took uh, a long time. She came in to me in a 15 over 10 pain rating, so she took she took a little bit longer than someone else, but she got there. Oh, well, that's she great. She a tolerable that's level, great. yeah. And what was her diagnosis that she was prescribed the fentanyl for? She was hit by a car as a pedestrian. And um, I, I think she had uh, bilateral sciatica. She had uh, serious, very serious middle back pain. I think she had fractured. So just, just post-fracture. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So if she had actual physical injuries, this isn't just for somebody who has stress related pain or, you know, psychologically caused pain. This really works on people who have severe injuries, too. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. It's for people with severe injuries. And um, I'm glad you brought up the psychological component, the stress level, because um, that will accompany anybody who's been in pain for a long time, it takes a toll on the spirit, on the psyche, on the the depression levels. And so somebody that's been in pain for a long time will really benefit from CalMAIR. They may even benefit more if they're seeing someone else in conjunction with myself in the CalMAIR, but someone to talk that out, hash that out, maybe get some coping strategies or just find out there's things they can do that they don't even know that they can do to help themselves. So that would be a very uh, wise move to have some kind of counseling alongside CalMare or before CalMare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what other diagnoses can you treat? Um, you said neuropathic pain. So for people who don't know what, what kinds of pain conditions would be, be considered neuropathic? Neuropathic. We see a lot of neuropathy different types of neuropathy, diabetic, peripheral, chemo-induced peripheral neuropathy. We see complex regional pain syndrome quite a bit. That's an exciting one to treat. We see migraines, um, sciatica. I've had phantom limb, um, vulvodynia. Uh, just, there are so many, you know, <laughs> basically. Fibromyalgia, does it work? Fibromyalgia, if it's a damaged nerve, then we try to treat with CalMare. I have someone inquiring right now that has burning mouth syndrome, which I hadn't even heard of before, but so that's intriguing. So that'll be, that'll be fun to treat. And how do you combine that with the laser therapy? And can you tell people what laser therapy is? Because that sounds a little scary. But there's <laughs> yeah, different I know. Kinds of you say laser, sometimes people's minds go way too out there, but it's not scary at all. Again, it cannot hurt anyone. Um, you don't even feel anything. So at most, you might feel a slight warmth, but you probably won't at all. Um, and I have an MLS laser, which stands for multi-wave locked system. So usually it's a technically it's a cold laser. So if you're a nerd like me and you've read something about lasers, you've probably heard about cold lasers. Technically it is a cold laser and the MLS system is pretty great because usually you get one or the other. You either get an 808 continuous waveform or you get a 905 pulsed waveform. So you can either attack pain or inflammation, but with this system, you can get both of those waveforms. So you get to do both of those things and it does, it has many more benefits, but usually the, the two that we talk about are pain and inflammation. And uh, that is fantastic. It can be a standalone treatment for neuropathy as well, or sometimes what hangs us up with the CalMare unit is that the person is riddled with inflammation. So now we have the laser to put on as well 
so we can address the inflammation so that CalMare has a better chance of being effective. So it's so just you use those amazing at the same time, like the person is getting the CalMare and the laser treatment at yeah. the same moment. Yes, yes. And we might even in an ideal world, if I can have them um, for a while, we may even start start a few sessions with the laser first and then we'll do them side by side. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds great. So you're located in Clifton Park, New York, <laughs> which is uh, north of Albany, about 30 minutes from Albany, New York. Yeah. And um, I know you were saying earlier, you have people coming sometimes from far away um like canada so some people do travel mm -hmm. um stay locally while they get the treatment mm -hmm. uh, because calmer isn't available um it's not readily available not that many people are doing it yet but you know i'm really excited about calmer i tell people about it all the time because it's it treats people really fast and the treatment is usually enduring for what i understand once they've completed treatment um, at most, they might need a booster or two down the road. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Some people never come back and some people come back for a booster and then we never see them again. And that you never see them again because they're satisfied with treatment and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't need me anymore. Yeah. So. yeah that's you can come that's see me the best reason to never see people again. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how we can get in touch with you. I like to direct people to my website, which is capitalregiontherapeuticmassage.com or laurabrownpttllc.com um, or calmaremassage.com. So you can type in any one of those, whatever you can remember, calmaremassage.com. You can find me and you can find a lot of information that way. So it, I like to send people there because it answers a lot of the questions. It's a really interactive website. You can, um, you can schedule a consult right from the website. So uh, then um, if you want to, my, my information is all there. You can shoot me an email. You can call me on the phone. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if you have a consult, you're on my schedule. That's the thing to do. Because if you're on my schedule, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Great. Well, yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. And again, um, Cindy Perlin from the Alternative Pain Treatment Directory. And I've been talking with Laura Brown, physical therapist, massage therapist, and, and master of innovative technological treatments. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day. Thank you, Cindy.